tell me about squamous cell cancer of the skin. Uh, the, is it the most common kind of cancer of the skin? No, it makes up about 10 to 15 percent of skin cancers and it's more common in men. This is the most common cancer associated with long-term sun exposure. These are your farmers and your construction workers. Smoking is an important cofactor for squamous cell carcinoma, but definitely sunlight is the major role. And what are the characteristics? Uh, we've got a picture of here of a squamous cell carcinoma. As you remember, you know? the precancers, they were red and a little scaly and sort of small. These, these look the same, only more so. They're just larger and more thickened in appearance and scalier. Uh, these can spread internally is the concern. Now fortunately they don't do it real often but they certainly have the potential to do so. So and once they've spread that has the potential of killing somebody. Oh sure and so they at the very least have to be cut out which is why we prefer to treat them in the precancer stage. Get these earlier in there there's a lot easier to treat. Now, if it's squamous cell carcinoma, are, are they dark and black? Are they pearly and white? Or they, can they vary in color? They can vary in color, uh, but usually they're crusty in appearance, have a thick scale associated with them. Hard? Uh, often, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the most common sure. skin cancer. Let's okay. look at the next picture. Okay, this is basal cell carcinoma, and this cancer makes up 80 to 85 percent of skin cancers and it can occur mostly on the head and neck area but these can happen in a variety of locations. Uh, this is what we call the nodular basal cell carcinoma or solid basal cell carcinoma and these are the most common type. These never spread internally and because of that I think they are the one that gives skin cancer the reputation of not being a particularly dangerous cancer but I've seen these take off a nose. Yeah. and take off an ear and so they're definitely destructive and so we need to be removed for that reason. So if they're on the nose or on the ear and if you don't pay attention to them they can just go sure. deeper and deeper and yeah, deeper. Yeah since they don't kill you they just keep growing and growing and growing. Basal cell carcinoma and melanoma are the ones that are most tightly associated with strong sunlight before the age of 18. Wow. Okay. So whereas your squamous cell is long-term sun exposure, these have been associated with strong sun exposure at a young age, which is why it's so important to get sunscreen on your children. Well, let's look at melanoma because okay. uh, we've got about three more minutes here. Okay. Let's, let's see what a melanoma looks like in the next picture and then uh, get some characteristics of this. This is a a, B, C, D's of melanoma. Talk to me about that. Right. Well, you know, this uh, people wonder if this always works, and that's not always the case. There are perfectly benign growths that can have some of these characteristics. So if you see something that looks funny to you or has some of these characteristics, don't immediately panic. The best thing is to look around, and if you can find six or eight others that look just like the one you're worried about, there's a good sign that that's okay. We, we're looking for the ugly duckling. We're looking for the one that stands out and stands out for some of these. Are, these are good indicators, though, maybe that something ought to be checked. A, asymmetry. That means that you can cut this in half and it's not going to be the same on both sides. Um, B is border irregularity. The border is the outline of the skin cancer. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, see how this one is not smooth and distinct. It has notching or scalloping and those are the border irregularities that we're looking at. C, C uh, we go to is color <laughs> and color variability. I think a lot of people get hung up on thinking a melanoma has to be black and they can be, but more commonly they're more than one color in the same mole. And that's a, that's a really more common sign. And then D, D is D. diameter. Most melanomas are greater than six millimeters in size, which is the eraser on a pencil. So we're not talking about the pinhead sized moles. Those are generally all right. Uh, but once they reach that six millimeter size, particularly if they're accompanied by this, by these signs of melanoma, we've, or the symptoms of melanoma, we've talked about the signs, the symptoms are growth, change, itching, or bleeding. So if any of those are accompanied by those symptoms, then those certainly should prompt you to come in and be checked. If somebody has melanoma, how do you know what the treatment is? How do you take those out? Do you, uh, do you burn them? Do you freeze them? What do you do with them? It all depends on how advanced they are and melanoma caught in the very earliest stage is no more dangerous than any form of skin cancer which is why we so encourage people to get in early. Uh, in situ melanoma or melanoma that's uh, just confined to the outermost layer of the skin we just simply excise those and that's it.